All right, so uh, welcome back, everyone. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can. I'm going to compare three uh, laser training, dry firing training uh, apps here. One's a G site, the other one's going to be uh, laser hit, and then eye target. Uh, here it is. Here's the here's the gun right here, and as you can tell, it's already in there. If you want to, you can see that it's already cleared. I do have ammo right here in the clip, but I'm not going to be using the clip. It's completely empty. So if you want to take a look here, I'll I have a target uh, on the uh, projector here. If you can see that. So, anyways, let's do the training. 10 shots and uh, the gun back in the holster. So here it is. Uh, I'm going to just zoom in. And this is on a gimbal, so I can move it around and then have it just right, just the way I want it. Come on, gimbal. Okay, okay, I can adjust it. Perfect. Stop moving. Just right. Okay. All right. Stop moving. All right. So this is the G site. I have. It's it's just a projector. I got a lot of other targets I could load up and I probably will um, projector right here. So let's go ahead and get this started. Start. It's calibrating. All right. Begin shoot. So I will start beginning shooting. I'm just going to double action here. Okay, so I think that's 10 shots. Yep, it says 10 shots detected. And there you go. So let's let's try again. It looks like it hits pretty good. I have to admit the G site. Now, what it is, is it's already taken a picture of it. So and let's do it again. And let's start. It's calibrating. And it's... Basically, it's already taken a picture, so it's nothing there. And now I'm just gonna let's just see if I could do. I have to stand up here, but let me uh, hit the numbers here. See if I could hit the numbers. So then, Uh, that may be out of frame. Yeah, that's out of frame. Let's go on the other side. And let's head above it. Oh, that's it. Okay. And uh, you kind of see where it hits, and it's Fairly accurate, I would say. Fairly accurate. So, this is the G site. All right. Now, 
And let me exit out of this. Let me hold through my, I don't know, I just moved this whole thing. I just moved the whole thing. Okay. Now I'm going to exit out. And we'll try something else. I've downloaded some uh, apps here. Okay, so let's try uh, iTarget Pro. Because it follows this kind of vertical format. The laser hit is horizontal, which I'll use a different target. And let's just set this up. Oh, I had it just perfect. Oh, let me uh, tilt it down just a little bit. There we go. And the eye target's perfect for this. I think I've already calibrated it. There we go. Now you got to put in the target. I like the gimbal because it just goes back. It just goes back to where you set it at. Okay. Anyways. Let's see how it does. I'm going to do the first shot. This also gives you, I think, I think, th I think this gives you as many shots as you want. Oh, I've got to push start. Okay. Uh, let me recalibrate it one more time. Thing is, I got it on a gimbal, so. Let's go. Okay, that's. That's as good as it's going to get there. Try one more time. There we go. I think that's good enough. Okay, now let's, now let's try it. Let's just try it. Okay, and uh, okay, it, it hit. And I might have moved it just a little bit. All right, so, all right, 20 shots, 200, I hit the, it says I hit the hole all the time, okay. Now let me just move it around. With with the eye target, again, you have to set it up vertically. It seems to work best vertically, and you can shoot as many, and it keeps score, and it's it's free. This is all free. Let's hit the numbers here. Out of frame, yep, out of frame. Go the other way. Okay, there we go. Uh, Looks like I got room for the one, two, three rings. Third ring right up here. There we go. Oh, fourth ring. Okay, there we go. So I missed the did I miss that ring? I sure did. Okay, so there you go. You kind of get a, a sense of how it shoots now. I got one stray. I got a stray right right up here for some reason. Anyways, so that's the eye target. So um, let me get set up on the on the other target here. Uh, I have to reorient the uh, the uh, the screen here. So hold on here. And I'm gonna have to turn the, uh, let me see, uh, laser hit. That's the one. And I have to turn off the gimbal. And I have to reorient this thing so it can 
Go. There we go. Move this. Uh, all right, I'm I'm back with a uh, another phone here. Okay, let's see how this goes. Because I just did this with this phone. I think it's going to work out. Yeah, there you go. Just want to be right about right about here. Uh, okay, now that's where I want to be. Let's see how it handles it. This camera seems to pick up the light a lot, a lot better on the projector. Okay, I don't see any red. I see no red spots on this camera on the screen. Okay. All right, still unloaded. Laser still in here. Okay, it says hit the reload, which I set it up to. There we go, it worked. So I hit the reload right here. Uh, I should have changed the settings, but it's all right. Let's just go with it. All right, so this this phone works better. And what I like about the laser hit is that um, it's horizontal. Now, unfortunately, I can't, for whatever reason, I can't download G site on this. And ironically, the iTarget doesn't do well on this phone, but it does great on the Samsung Galaxy S7. So anyways, there's some good pros and cons about it. Uh, all right, so I could push this and it'll redo it. The other option is I could shoot this area. Here, I'll just go ahead and shoot it again. All right, well, this, this camera does a lot better in picking up, uh, picking this up. The other option is I could shoot this area, which I will. There we go. So. Let's get started again. Five point five seconds. Wow, five point five seconds. So I can shoot this area again. Let's let's see if I could beat my time here. I think I already messed up. All right, I, I probably already messed up. Sometimes it doesn't register the hit, but let me uh, cock it so I get myself a little head start. Seconds. Okay, wow, it, it does a lot better for some reason. I think if I center it and put it on a gimbal, on a tripod, it, it does very well. Let me try one more time. Okay, uh, not bad, not bad. I, I think I like this because it's horizontal and I can use targets like this. And, uh, you know, it kind of gives you some. Sometimes it doesn't pick up like that. That one right there. There we go. All right. So sometimes it doesn't it doesn't pick up. So uh, let me go back and let's go to settings. I'm going to change the settings on this. Uh, I go in here now. Have to go all the way up to 99.
I wish I can go up to 99 if I wanted to. <sighs> Ideally, I just want 10 shots, but let's just have some fun here. Delaying seconds. Uh, let's get rid of voiceover. And, uh, okay. Okay, so there's no red. This camera seems to pick up a lot better lighting. Okay. What I don't like is when it sets up, I guess it does it. I wish I could just push it, but there we go. I'm missing that one and that one. Oop. All right, am I missing? I moved the camera. Oh, I moved the camera. Oh, so it is moving with the camera. Okay, interesting. This thing moves with the camera. I have to. I have to readjust the uh, readjust it again. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm going to shoot to see how it goes. Did it even register those hits? Okay, oh, I need to go down one more. There we go. <laughs> I was wondering where they were. There we go. So it's the bottom three, okay. All right, so I gave it 60 seconds, but I'm going to reload it. Ceasefire. Okay, I guess I reached my time limit. Anyways, there we go. Okay. All right, so you get the idea. Um, anyways, right now, I, I think I'm liking the laser hit because you could do this. Now, not all targets are going to be like that. Uh, it's, you know, certain targets seem to work better than others. So on a target like this, I think it works really well, um, and I'll show you some other targets I have, so you can get an idea. Let's see if I can uh, uh, get to the menu here. Okay, let's go, there we go, and you can see it playing. So a target like this, I have to change the size of it. It's good for eye target and maybe uh oh here's a here's a here's here's one I wanna I wanna play around with. Uh so let's do one more. Let me have fun with this. Let me have fun with this and uh I think this is great. This is 
if it's a round target, it's probably better for like a eye target. If it's a square target like that, I think uh, G sight is good. Uh, but let me let me back out of here. Let's see if this eye target how it does. See if I can zoom in. Now that's about all it does and okay. So I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back on the uh on the G site here. All right, let's go on the laser train, zoom in. The G site seems to work really easy, but again, if you have a You have a gimbal and a tripod. It really helps. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That's perfect. That's exactly where I want it to be. Uh, now this only has ten shots, unfortunately. Um, but let's let's just have some fun with that. There we go. Okay. So uh, let's have some fun. Uh, ten shots. Let me see. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let me just go from left to right, go across again, nothing in here. So, that's eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay. So, uh, all right, try again. So I went three down up there. I'm just going to go around in a, in a circle here. One, two, three. Try the fourth one. Oh. Keep calibrating. One, two, three. I'm going to take my time. I'm using one hand here. Okay. So that's where I am here. I might even do my left hand to do the other one. Let's go around here. Uh, try again. I think I was right here. I'm just going to cock it. That's what I love about these hammer pistols. It's like a revolver, but it's good practice. At least I don't have to rack it all the time. Now I'm using my dominant eye shooting with my left hand, so. There we go. Now I'm going to do on the tens here. It's just going around in a circle. Oh. 
My left hand is really getting tired here. Okay, switch back to the right hand. Okay. So I think we're, I think it was right about here. Should be right about here. That's pretty accurate. It really is pretty accurate. I'm just trying to make it a little fun for me. Instead of shooting around target all the time or whatever. Um, okay, let's see. Made it around that corner. All right, made it around that corner. Let's just finish off the tens. Let's just finish off the tens here real quick. Fifteens. Okay, fifteens are done. Where did I leave off? Right there. Okay. Um, let's keep going. 15. Let's do one, two. Just trying to keep a track. Maybe I'll buy the app and let me just keep shooting an infinite amount. I think I was right here. A little high. Okay, so I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to make this a little challenging. Um, I have a clock here that I can use. All right, I'm back. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show it to you here. Uh, let's go to settings, eighth, uh, eighth of a second. That, that should be fine. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just show you on the... Uh, camera here like that okay let's get it going here i'm drawing from the holster cocked okay. so show you the time on that 2.560 uh, i showed three shots actually uh let me see here Uh, let's see if I can get rid of the volume. Huh. Volume speakers are off. This just keeps making noises for some reason. I wonder if I can. Uh, I wonder if I can change the settings on those. I want. Well. That's all right. I can uh, I can adjust the, uh, the the shot timer here. All right, let's go on to the other one. All right. Stop this. Whoa, seven point six two seconds. That's a long time. There we go. That's a lot better. 2.80. I think that's that's more like it. You have to play around with it because I don't I don't think it took me seven seconds to do that. Okay. 
And then uh, let's do that again on the 20s here. Ah, oh, I missed. I saw it. I missed. Yeah, I missed. Uh, let's see what this timer says. Five seconds. I wish I could turn the volume off of this. I think it's interfering. All right. I don't think that's right, but uh, let me see if I could uh, turn the volume off. There we go. Let me re recalibrate this again because I moved it. I didn't move that much. That's good. All right. This is just I'm just checking if it makes any sound. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. So it's still recording. Okay. Just checking this. Make sure it's recording. All right. Then uh, let's try this again. Let me turn this on average, normal, okay. Shut timer. Oh, gosh, did I hit it? I did hit it, okay. At least I know I hit it. It's in the 20, so that counts. This is what the time is. Uh, nine. I don't think it's nine. I only had one shot. Wow. Maybe I do take that long. All right. Let's try again and let's be a little bit more quiet. All right. A lot better. Uh, if you're going to use this, it's it's nice to be quiet. I did hit that target. Excellent. Uh, at the 25, uh, I'm going to do it. Double action. Let's see how long it takes. It looks like I missed, so I'm gonna have to try again, but it took five seconds. It takes, well, let me see here. Shows that two, I had two shots. Either way, it took a long time. I can adjust the uh, shot count. Okay, let's uh, try again. Because that took accuracy, also counts. Okay, 2.2, and I did hit it, so it took about two seconds. So here's another drill you can use, a combination with this and using the G site with the, uh, the laser, uh, the laser uh, cartridge in here. You can have some fun, and I hope you had some fun as well. Anyways, uh, this concludes this episode, so feel free to like, dislike, Leave a comment or even do a video response. Till next time, everybody. Thumbs up. See you all later. Bye.